presents Trick or Treat. What's scarier than threats to our social program? Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burning, cauldron bubble. By the pricking of my thumb, something scary this way comes. I'm brewing up trouble for you. Trick or treat. Ha, ha, ha. It's an especially rich brew, and it is called more for me and less for you. <laughs> uh, so, my dearies, what's scarier than threats to your social security, Medicare, and Medicaid? Mm. Yes, wicked witch! With mm. our webs of deception, we will join you in telling the people they must get rid of their social programs. Privatization. Just because the people paid for these programs and they want them does not mean that we can't poison them with private competition. Take a voucher and over time you will pay more out of pocket while getting less. We want to remain the only Western industrialized nation without universal health care and continuing to pay the most for less. Yay! <laughs> Don't worry, all you people! We will provide for you by supporting the rich with our elite webs! Don't worry though, eventually it will trickle down to you! But don't ask us when, because these elite webs are strong! We're tired of being trickled on! We're tired of being trickled on! We're tired of being trickled on! ruining my brew. Here, here are some free market spiders for your brew. Fire, fire. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when we practice to deceive. I'm the deficit scarecrow. Look out everybody, there's a budget crisis. We've got to make cuts to our social security, Medicare and Medicaid. Run for your lives, it's a budget crisis. Here, witch, I brought this red herring for your witch's brew. Ooh, drop it in, my dearie. I am the Grim Reaper. Yes, cuts to Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid will give me a bountiful harvest. Whenever somebody can't afford needed medical care or other treatments. Just that much more close are they to a visit from me. <laughs> so, by all means, cut these programs. It will give me job security. Here are some skulls from my recent Ooh. collection. I hope for many more <laughs> soon. for your welcome. Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid are absolutely necessary and should be expanded to be accessible to more people and provide even better benefits. But all you people, I've come to tell you that I alone cannot do this for you. You are the ones who must fight to stop this witch's brew from being fed to the politicians and the people. All you evil villains, Go away from the people! Ah. Which I banish you and your wicked brew! <gasps> I'm melting! I'm melting! I am melting! I am melting! I am melting! This is spectacular! Cuts to Medicaid? Cuts to Medicare? Boo! Cuts to Social Security? Boo! Boo! Save these programs? Yes! Yes! Improve social programs? Yes! Yes! Well, Grow, you've made a good start. 
I know that over the past few months you've collected hundreds upon hundreds of postcards from voters living in over 150 towns and cities in Missouri telling our representatives and senators to save and improve Social Security. We want to grow the economy, not make cuts. Yes, we're going to deliver all of these postcards today to the representatives and it's about Social Security. It's a great program. We want to make it even better. It's time for Congress to ask high-income people to pay into Social Security on all their wages. This one simple change would go a long way to pay for future generations. Congress should increase the annual inflation adjustments to account for the high cost of senior citizen medical expenses. And Congress should also give credit to people who have lost years paying into the system because they needed to take care of family members who required help. So we're going to deliver these postcards. Ms. McCaskill, I have 609 postcards from 145 Missouri towns and cities. Senator Blunt, I have 620 postcards from 139 Missouri towns and cities. Representative Hartzler, I have 866 postcards from 101 Missouri towns and cities in your district. This is exactly the brew we need. Now go and deliver these postcards to our Congress people's local offices. Go in God's speed. Oh yes, and don't forget to vote on Tuesday, November 6th. Who you vote for has an impact on these programs and you don't want anyone in the White House or Congress or in Jefferson City who will propose or vote for any cuts to Social Security, Medicare, or Medicaid. This ends our show, but not the fright. This Yay! Keep up!